So myself, I am Nageshwar Rao. I am the assistant professor in mathematics working in St. Martin's Engineering College. So I am going to start about the topic mean value theorems. Mean value theorems. Mean value theorems. I am going to explain about Lagrange's mean value theorems, very important theorem. Lagrange's Lagrange's mean value theorem. Lagrange's it is mean value theorem. Yes, first of all, we should know what was the statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. That is very important. First, we will see the statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Statement. Statement. If a function, if a function f max closed interval b tends to r is such that is such that that first point f is continuous on f is continuous on closed interval a comma b second point so f is derivable on open interval a comma b then there exists a then there exist at least one point at least one point c belongs to c belongs to a comma b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a <coughs> this is the thing so if a function f maps close into a comma b tends to r is such that f is continuous on close into a comma b f is terrible on open into a comma b then there exists at least one point c belongs to open into a comma b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a so this is the f dash value in the Lagrange's mean value theorem where slope is not parallel to x axis before in the theorem, rule theorem, the slope is parallel to x axis so these conditions are going to be satisfied then the Lagrange's theorem is going to be verified out of these conditions at least one condition is not satisfied then the theorem is not verified that is the Lagrange's theorem is not verified now we will see one problem based on this Lagrange's mean value theorem whether the mean value, whether the Lagrange's mean, the mean value theorem is verified or not we will see by taking one example let us see now see one example here So verify the problem, verify Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function, so for the function f of x is equal to x into x minus 2 x minus 3 in open interval 0 comma 4 so this is the problem verify Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function f of x equal to x into x minus 2 x minus 3 in open interval 0 comma 4 see here this is so a given function what he has given right on that so a given function f of x x into x minus 2 into x minus 3 in 0 0,4 like this. 
no, we just expand here again f of x here x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 so this implies f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x square 3x square plus 6 this implies f of x equal to x cube minus 5x square plus 6 this is the function value I got. Since f of x here, I will verify step by step all the conditions in the Lagrange's mean value theorem. Since f of x, since f of x is a polynomial function, is a polynomial function, function, it is continuous, continuous in Close interval 0, 4, like this. Since f of x is a polynomial function, it is continuous in close interval 0, 4. Now we will see the derivative exists or not. Now, f dash of x is equal to 3x square minus 10x plus that is. Here 6x here. So let's just verify that 6x here. Okay. F of x is x cube minus y cube five x square plus 6x. Now 3x square minus 10x that is plus 6. So the derivative exists. So that is so what we have to go right is f of x is f of x is derivable f of x is derivable on open interval 0 comma 4 like this the derivative x cube is derivative to 3x square minus 5x is minus 10x 6 is derivative to 6 so f of x is derivable on open interval 0 comma 4 like this the first condition the polynomial we got f of x is x cube minus 5x square plus 36x. Okay, so it is continuous. Next, f dash of x 3x square minus 10x plus 6. So f of x is derivable on open interval 0, 4. Next, what we have to find out? We have to find out the now next is f dash of c value. What is the formula? There exists at least one point. Okay, c belongs to open interval a comma b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus c. Okay, here what is a value? A value is zero, and what is b value? A value is zero, and small b value uh, is four. That is small a is zero, small b is four. Like that, we are going to take. Uh, you just circle in the values okay what will get it you just see what happens <coughs> now see here our uh, dash of c so what is f of a so f of a is nothing but that is f of x is that is f of a that is f of 0 a value is 0 that is that is substitute here you will get entirely it is 0 now f of b f of b that is f of 4 that is that is substitute the 4 whole cube minus 5 times plus 6 like this 64 that is 64 16 plus 24 here okay so 64 that is minus 80 plus 24 here so 64 plus that is 24 88 88 minus 80 that equal to 80 equal that is f of b y f of a is that is directly 0 f of b is, I, I 
got the value is 8. Okay, now substitute that formula. Okay, so what was formula is that is so this is f of x, you just make a note this is x cube minus 5x square plus 6x. This is f dash of x is 3x square minus 10x plus 6. Just make a note on the top, then you will get you know the values for that. Next, after that, where I want, just go through that, that value f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a, like this. So, finally, so f dash of c, that is, f dash of c is the direct you write down, instead of we plus x by c, 10c plus 6, what is f of b, 8 minus 0 by, that is b by is 4, 0. So this implies 8 by 4, I got 2, that is. So this implies 3c square minus 10c plus 6 is equal to 2. So this implies 3c square minus 10c plus 4 is equal to 0. This is the value I got. Okay, this is 10c, not x. This is 10c. 3c square minus 10c plus 4. Now here we are going to find out the roots. If the roots are not getting, we are going to take c equal to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So we get c equal to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a okay. like this so what is here what is b minus of minus 10 plus or minus under root of b square means that is b 100 that is 100 minus 4 times a is 3 that equal to 4 c is 3 by 2a 2 into 3 like this. So I got here minus into minus plus 10 plus or minus that is under root of 100 minus 4 3 is a 12. So 12 4 is a 48. 48 by 36. So we are going to take here so that next we are going to take here the c value that is c equal to c equal to 10 that is plus or minus root 100 minus 48 root 52 by 6 like this so here yeah, root 49 means that is approximately uh, root 49 that is accurately 7 you will get it not approximate root 49 7 root 52 means something you will get is okay Ah, so 7 point I guess, like this will get. What is the C value lies between 0, 4? Okay. Ah. So that is C. Finally, C equal to that is 10 plus 8. So something it is. 10 plus 7, 17, 17 by 6. Okay. That it is approximately okay. you will get it 10 plus 10 plus or minus 7 point something it is value over okay, there by 6. You will get 10 plus 6, 10 plus 7, 17 by 6. That is approximately less between again okay, 2 and 3 that value. Okay, like this. So similarly, 10 minus 7 by 6. That is approximately that value less between 1. Again, okay, 10 minus 7. That is 1 plus 7, 1 is minus 7. 10 minus 7, 3 by 6 point that is. Okay. So the C value finally you will get it. Okay. Data write down that is this value c equal to 10 plus or minus root 52 by 6. Okay, root 64 will get 8 value. Okay, 10 plus or root 52 by 6 that is belongs to open interval 0, 4. That is like this. Finally, you write down c equal to 10 plus or minus root 52 by 6 belongs to 
open interval 0 comma 4 this so this total this value lies within that interval 0 comma 4 so finally it all the conditions are satisfied therefore the rule theorem is verified so what we proved again here fun is given function f of x is x x minus 2 x minus 3 and within that interval open interval 0 comma 4 so first we calculate the function f of x okay, f of x we got x cube minus 5x square plus cx so that is a polynomial function so it is continuous in in closed interval 0 comma 4 now derivative well, what we have done the derivative okay, derivative means that is f dash of x is that is 3 3x square x cube derivative 3x square minus 5 10x plus 6 so that is the derivative so there is the derivative exists in the open interval okay, always continuous exists in the closed interval and derivative exists in the open interval 0 comma 4 and finally, we calculate within the, the formula there exists at least one point C belongs to open to A comma B such that f dash of C equal to f of B minus f of A by B minus A. So what is A value he has given? The A value is 0 and uh, uh, B value is 4. Directly you substitute in the formula. So what is f dash of C? f dash of C equal to f of B minus f of A by b minus a so one, one by we calculate uh, what is f of x f of a that is 0 directly substitute that okay and f of b f of 4 4 whole cube minus 5 into 4 whole square plus 6 into 4 you simplify you get f of b is 8 okay f of a and f of b you substitute the values in the formula f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a so when f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a b minus b that we substitute that here f dash of c is 3c square minus 10c again okay, plus 6 is equal to 8 minus 0 by 4 minus 0 that is 8 by 4 that equal to 2 so 3c square minus 10c plus 6 equal to 8 by 4 that is 4 minus 4 is 2 so finally 3c square minus 10c 6 minus 2 you get 4 3c square minus 10c plus 4 equal to 0. Roots are not getting that we are going to take c equal to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Then you apply c b minus of minus 10 plus or minus okay, this is 100. Okay, 100 minus 4 into 3 4 by 2 into 3. 10 plus or minus under root of 100 minus 48 by 6. c equal to 10 plus or minus root 52 by 6. So that value lies with the interval 0 comma 4. So all the conditions are so, so all the conditions are satisfied. So finally, the Rolle's theorem is verified. So in this way, we are going to prove the if one if any problem is given, any function is given. Okay, verify means you have to prove this, you have to prove these conditions. Okay, this is called the uh, this is called the Lagrange's mean value theorem. What is Lagrange's mean value theorem? Once again, if a function f maps closed interval a comma b tends to R, he says that f is continuous on closed interval a comma b. F is derivable on open interval a comma b, then there exists a point at least c belongs to open interval a comma b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. Okay, this is called the Rolle's theorem. This is very very important theorem. Okay, so this is a verification of Rolle's theorem. If any function is given, like that you have to verify. All the conditions are satisfied, then the Rolle's theorem is verified. Okay. Thank you so much.